Hi, I'm Dane, inventor of the Bayou, the virtually indestructible USB drive. In this video, I'll be doing some shock or acceleration testing. We'll fire the Bayou with an aerodynamic belt at a couple of targets, and use a high-speed camera to calculate how much forces the Bayou experiences. A little bit about the air gun. It's built entirely of off-the-shelf components, about $150 worth. You have a bunch of pipe fittings, a valve, a pressure gauge, a regulator, and an air pressure cylinder. The pressure source is just a regular air compressor. Now, my first attempt, I just attached the air compressor directly to the valve. That didn't work very well because you can't get enough volume of air moving at a quick enough speed to shoot the value out very well. So I then added the air pressure cylinder. That gives you a large volume of air, very close to the barrel, with a very large pipe diameter. That lets the air push the viad out very quickly. Even at only about 25 psi, it shoots the viad out at over 200 kilometers per hour, which is just what we want. Looking at our targets a bit, the first target was just a couple pieces of loose wood, and what happened is eventually the viad broke completely through it. So this time, I glued and screwed a couple pieces of plywood and MDF together, and uh, that should hold together a little bit better. I'll also be using a piece of stone or concrete as another target to see how that affects things. The final piece in this setup is the high-speed camera. When we fire the value, we want to record the value hitting and bouncing off. We can then use that video to calculate the forces and deceleration the value experiences. A regular camera at 30 or 60 frames per second uh, it doesn't capture enough frames, but this little Casio gets a thousand frames per second uh, and it's just perfect for me. I'm all set up to do some shock testing now. I'm doing a test outside for a few reasons. One is the high speed camera requires a lot of light to get a good video, so doing it outside in the sun is a perfect place. The next is for rebounds. When the value hits the target and bounces off, it's going at a pretty good speed. So outside is a little safer to do. Behind the camera, I set up a tarp to catch any rebounds. So I'll start at a low velocity and work my way up. Fifteen PSI. Twenty five PSI test. So I just finished shock testing the Bayou. I did 10 different runs at various speeds and targets. And the good news is the aluminum one survived up to 2500 Gs and the titanium one up to 2200 Gs. The bad news, however, is that both eventually failed. The USBs in them no longer work. The aluminum one failed past 2800 Gs and the titanium one past 2500 Gs. So that gives us a good range of, of shocks that the value can and can't survive at. So if we choose a shock rating of 1,000 Gs, that gives us a very comfortable 2.5 times safety factor. Compared to other USBs, the only one that actually has a shock rating is the extreme key. It's rated at 50 Gs, but that's 20 times less than the 1,000 Gs we just rated our, our value at. As a comparison, 1,000 Gs is, is like dropping the value off a 15-story building onto concrete. So that's it for shock testing. Thanks for watching.